So what I'm going to demo for you here today is a new technology from Corning called Clear Curve Fiber. And in the last couple of years, there's been a real challenge in bringing fiber to multi-dwelling units or apartment complexes. You can run fiber right to the side of the building, but once you begin to go inside of the building, the environment becomes much more complex. Now all of a sudden, there's a lot of uh, construction, there's lots of 90 degree bends, and also you're now in an environment where the subscriber has access to the fiber potentially. The consumer may step on it, they may bend it, they may do any sort of number of awful things to it, and as you may know, standard single mode fiber doesn't take very well to bends. It, there, you'll have an attenuation of the signal, um, you may have problems with the service at some point with that. So the clear curve fiber really addresses that. Clear curve fiber is what we call a bend and sensitive technology. Uh, you can bend it much, much tighter than you can standard single mode fiber. So what I'm going to show you today is basically um, three different uh, fiber products. We've got a drop cable like you might find inside of a multi-dwelling unit with a standard single mode fiber on the inside. Then there is the exact same drop cable construction. Now we've got a clear curve fiber on the inside. And last but not least is a, what we call a ruggedized drop. And this is a slightly more robust drop with uh, the clear curve fiber on the inside. And behind me on, the, on these two screens, you'll be able to see the loss of the network that we're running today and also the impact on a video feed. So very similar to what you might see if you were sitting in the home watching television. So what I have here is a 10 millimeter diameter mandrel. And but this is a very common thing in the fiber industry. You see lots of people wrapping fibers around mandrels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put a single turn of this, this drop cable with the standard fiber on the inside. And you can take a look at what has happened to the loss and to the signal um, on the video feed. So a considerable amount of loss just with a single turn. And that video feed, you can already begin to see some significant signal degradation. Now, if I put another turn on that mandrel, basically the signal's gone. I don't have any signal at the subscriber anymore, and the subscriber's now calling the helpline asking for someone to come out and fix their fiber service. Not a good thing. So obviously a challenging environment, but there's not a lot of mandrels on the inside of apartment buildings, so we'll show this more in the real world context. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this drop cable and put it across a hard 90 degree bend. I put a single 90 degree bend in that drop cable, and you see that I've had a very significant impact to the loss, and you're beginning to see a degradation in the video quality. So again, 15 to 40 of these things, it's a bad news for the subscriber and a big challenge for Corning to go solve. So now we have this new product, the Clear Curve um, Fiber. This is the exact same drop cable construction as the first one, um, and we'll do the exact same things to it. So I've got my mandrel here, and we'll put this through uh, a single turn. Single turn, not really any loss, and you still got a great video signal. Two turns, three turns, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Still looks good. So I've still got very little loss and a wonderful video signal. This is, you know, typical of what you would see in a multi dwelling unit. This is equivalent to about 40 to 60, 90 degree bends from the place that you start this fiber to where it terminates at the subscriber. So now we've got uh, this really wonderful solution for multi-dwelling unit applications. And in really any application where you have an environment where this drop cable may get pinched, bent, any, any number of those things, it's still not foolproof. I could still, as a person installing this, potentially bend this tighter than it's meant to be bent. And that's what really leads us to our third uh, drop cable sample here today. This is what we call a ruggedized drop. Now this is a larger outer diameter drop cable, um, but really what this is designed to do is to self bend limit the fiber on the inside of the drop cable. So now I can take that drop cable and pinch it over on top of itself and you're not going to see any additional loss. Furthermore, I'm not worried about the mechanical reliability of that fiber on the inside. The cable's there to protect it. So you have a cable think about how many times does that happen in a multi-dwelling unit. Well, if you go look at the inside wiring of most homes, you'll see this very often as people take a bundle of cable, electrical wire, maybe speaker wire, they wrap it up, they fold it over on itself, and then they stick a big tie wrap around the whole thing, shove that up into an outlet box, and now you've got that environment. Well, standard fiber cable, that's a big problem. With this, I can squeeze that down real tight, no appreciable impact to loss, and no impact to the video quality as well.
So again, we feel really good about this. And last but not least, um, one, of the, one of the other things you have to do as you run fiber into, into construction is you have to strain relief it as you run it through walls. Um, in the past, uh, we've been very cautious about what we recommend in terms of strain relief hardware. Very often what we recommend is not standard. It's something that's designed not to pinch this too hard or put it into any sort of bends. But with this new drop cable, you can literally take a staple gun from your hardware store with standard staples from your hardware store and use that to strain relief the drop. So there I've put two, three, four, five, and you'll see on that screen, no impact to loss, no impact to the video quality. And I'll put a really good one here. There you heard that. So you can see that this is really denting in that drop cable. So that drop cable is designed to protect that fiber, even in this very, very severe application of putting staples in. If you take a look at the, the signal and the video quality, still no impact. I could put 40 staples into this drop cable, we'd still have a good signal. Furthermore, you'll see, I, I really haven't uh, been too gentle with this drop cable. That's, that staple is significantly uh, denting that cable. But like I said, because of the nature of the fiber and because of the, the self-bend limiting and, um, qualities of this cable, it is protecting the fiber in that application. We feel very comfortable that you can do this, leave it for 20 years, and there's not going to be any problems. So again, what we've done here is now begin to approach uh, the handleability of a copper product in a fiber product. Furthermore, I'd say that you go look at this, and if you were to do this to a coax cable, you would have lost some of your channels. You really can't do that to coax today. And with a Cat5 or an Ethernet type of cable, similarly, that's not a good thing to do to the cable. You may not have data anymore. But again, this fiber, as you can see here on the screen, still got a wonderful signal. We feel really great about this product and are really excited about a lot of the applications for it.